Hi guys, welcome back to Hitpointed. Today, sadly, we are gonna be uh, starting a new playthrough because 1.5.1 uh, came out and well, they just added some uh, some new perks to the writing skills. So you know what? I am not in the mood of restarting a playthrough and trying again to make a foot archer with a two-handed weapon. I'm just not in the mood. Not in the mood of doing trading anymore. At least for a while. I, I don't know. I'm going to test the buy the world perk later. Later. For right now, I was thinking of doing a mounted archer build uh, with a pure Vlandian army. So let's go with that. So we're going to go to the campaign. And we're going to try and get everything in mounted, in archery. And we'll see if we're going to go with pole armor with one handed and sword. Hello, play Dr. Moose. Welcome back to the end, dude. S Happily, no, I don't think we have been infected by the Black Death, thank God. Hey, Rapson, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to be going with Vlandian culture this time around. 20% 20 more, 20 more upgrade experience to troops from battles. I know that you've been here before. I, I did say welcome back, right? I hope I said welcome back. If I said just welcome, I apologize. There we go. This time we're going to be a short dude. You know what? No, we're going to go with, with a lady. We're going to make a lady character. Hi, hey, Spectre. We're going to make a short lady. Okay, yeah, let's go with the second voice. Uh, give me a random lady. Oh, shit, that literally does not modify her face. Okay, yeah, we're going for a new playthrough. Hello, na Nanimator, welcome to the inn. Shortest lady ever, indeed. In there. You know what? Her face is fine. Let's go her... Eyes are a little bit on the big side. Just a little bit big. Um, do I have an eye? Death. Draw outer height. No. I eye size. There we go. Well, I didn't do shit. Guess that'll be fine. Okay, eye shape, there we go, that's gonna be fine. Hello Shinsen, welcome back. Uh, your friend's got a charge, you'll be back in about half an hour? Alright dude, go for it. Let's see, what hairs do the ladies have? Hell yeah. Nice, nice, like that. Like that. Sad noises? Why, Spectre? How you doing, man? What's up? Yeah, I'm gonna choose the hair color as well. But I think I'm gonna stick with the redhead. Let's see. That's kinda nice. You're doing meh? I'm sorry you're that, my man. Also like something that is suitable for combat, so I might go with either this, this, nah, or this. Also, let's give her some clothing. Friend of yours uh, through Twitch passed a few days ago. I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that, my man. My, my condolences. Like that. And go with that. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that, my man. Okay, so this or this. You know what? I kind of like this one. We're going to go with this one. Uh, that's nice. I'm okay with that one. Any markings? 
Hell no. Nah. Nope. Nope. Nothing. There we go. Skin type. Also, that nose is a little bit long. No. Nostril size. There. Okay, which one? <laughs> nose tip height. No, that's not it. Which one is the length of the nose? Seriously. Nope. Nope. No, that's not going to work. No. Ah, there it is, I think. It's fine. It is fine. She's okay. Mouth position. There, let's go. Let's not stand too much in that location. Uh, Baron's Retainer, that gives me both pole arms and writing. I think I'm going to go with that. And it also gives me social. Okay. Uh, not going to go for trade. Not going to go for charm for right now. Yeoman. If that wouldn't give me crossbow, that would be nice. Will I be using a one-handed weapon, a bow, and two quivers? Or instead of one-handed weapon, you'll go for a lance? I think I'm going to go with a lance, a shield, and a bow and arrow. That's what I'm thinking, but it all depends on the choices that I can go through. So yeah, we're going to go for a Baron's Retainer. And what do we got here? Leadership skills. I could use your leadership skills. I could use both of those. Let's say a no. No. Aptitude for numbers, no. My way with people could work. And my skill with horses, and that also gives me a medicine. No. I'm gonna go with my way with people. That also gives me more, more social. Should be fine. There we go. Sheep herder. Uh, that gives us polearm and athletics. No, thank you. Worked in the village smithy, two handed in smithing, no. Repaired projects, smithing and engineering, no. Gathered herbs, scouting and medicine. Hunted small game, now that could work. Uh, giving us bow and tactics. Or sold for this, yeah, we're gonna go with hunted. Uh, hunted small game, that also gives us a point into control, which is gonna give us better um, bowman chip control. There we go. Now as a teen, what do we do? Served as a baron's groom. Your family arranged for you to accompany a minor baron on the Vlandian kingdom. You were not given major responsibilities, mostly carrying messages intending to his horses. But it, give you a, it did give you a chance to see how campaigns were planned and men were deployed in battle. So that would give us tactics and stewardship. That could work. I want to increase stewardship and tactics, I guess, could always help out in a uh, simulation environment. Uh, trained with cavalry. This gives us polearm and riding. I'm okay with that. You can never have bought the equipment on your own, but you were a good enough rider so that a local lord lends you a horse and equipment. You joined the armored cavalry training with a lance. I mean, it's pretty appropriate for a Vlandian, although I'm not exactly sure if they accept women in their rank. Rode with the scouts? Definitely not. I don't... Oh, really? Rode with the scouts actually gave us bow and riding. That's cool. Uh, Baron's groom gives good armor. Uh, Shinsen, um, they received a nerf. The... Early game equipment have received a nerf. You no longer receive that good equipment anymore. Uh, definitely not trained with the infantry. Uh, definitely not joined the skirmishers. So we're either going to go roll with the scouts or train with the cavalry. Uh, they do accept females as two other doors are female. Oh, that's great. Then, yeah, we could go trained with the cavalry. It's it's kind of the Vlandian way. Or we could go row with scouts. We were kind of an experimental light cavalry that the Vlandians were working with, but they never actually brought it to the light of day. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. Let's just go train with the scouts. I'm just going to add an extra point to bow. It's fine. There we go. What else do we do? 
Hello, Ichi Feats. No, it's fine. That's fine. We're gonna put points into that. Oh, speaking of, let's decide by what attribute point we receive. So with Train with the Cavalry, we receive Endurance. Rogue with the Scouts, we receive Endurance. Yeah, okay, Train with the Cavalry, it is. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Literally the same. Okay, you defeated a enemy in battle. This gives us two-handed and one-handed. Definitely not. Uh, tactics and Leadership. Mm, could work, could be useful. Land. Uh, smithing and Trade. Nope. Dangerous animals. Uh, crossbow and bow. Why? Why are you giving me crossbow and bow? Give me just bow or crossbow. And since it's Vlandian, give me crossbow. Famous escapade in town. Athletics and um, roguery. Not really needed. And you treated people well. That gives us steward and charm. Uh, hmm... So can I either go, you, you led successfully a manhunt, which is going to give us cunning, or you treated people well, which gives us plus one mercy, generosity, honor, and extra point to social. I think I'm going to go with the extra point to social. We do want to increase steward anyway. Uh, charm is going to be useful towards the later, uh, as we go later into the game, and it is fine because we get that extra point to the social. We want this as high as possible because we want as much leadership as possible, so that's fine. Okay, and me and my brother, who really doesn't look Vlandian at all. I guess he's trying something new. Well, at least he's towards the blonde type of dude. You subdued a raider, which gives us one-handed and athletics. No, thank you. We drove them off with arrows, which is, gives us better tactics, better bow. That could work in our favor. Uh, it also gives us more control, so yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the more bowmanship we have, the better. Rode off on a fast horse. Uh, this gives us... Um, if it wouldn't give us scouting, I would totally go for this, but no. Uh, if you're not mistaken, this new armor for the scout is also good. It's fine, man. We'll see. Whatever we have, we're going to get something. Probably going to get something better. Pardon. Uh, roguery and tactics could work in our favor, or we organize the people, and that's just going to give us... Uh, more points into social and into charm, which is okay because we want to max these two out. Uh, yes, I am using OBS for screen recording. Hello, Bergon. Welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? 13 body, I think. Sorry, Shinsen. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it's if it's going to give us the 13 to body. Whatever it is, it's fine. Um, so... Drift them off with arrows or organize the men. I'm going to go organize the men uh, because at level one, pro I'm probably going to be putting that point into bow and it's going to be fine. So let's go with that. Uh, let's choose a name. Asgerta, Agathurda, Gerda, Thurda, Drusa, Balda. What the fuck is, what's, the fuck is wrong with these names? Kalatild, Brunda, Eliseth. Eliseth could work. Uh, Vandalind, Therafled. Uh, pick one from chat. Rowan could work. Hello, Garanti. Welcome to the end. Okay, hi, guys. What name should we name our character? Go for it. I'm just, I'm just going to cycle through the names to give you guys ideas. Sigatruda, Villatrude, Isilflaed, Aragon, Friduna, Adalis, Rithgund, Melint. Okay, they're starting to... Just Rowan? People seem to like Rowan. Okay, let's go with Rowan. Rowan can work for both a male and a female. Maximum, 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 yep. Maximum difficulty, maximum. Enable to death, and... No, don't auto-allocate clan member perks, thank you. Methos. Methos would be a family name, Spectre? Not really a, you know, uh, a good female name. Uh, nope, I want to skip the tutorial. Fuck yeah, skip the tutorial. Get me the hell out of here. I don't know how to play the goddamn game. The game's simple. It kicks my ass, I cry. It's very, very easy. And sure, 
For Spectre, this is going to be Mythos. Okay, so let's create a Vlandian flag. I guess it probably needs to involve a horse. Kind of like that one. It's spikier. It's more edgy. You also go for a... You know, that wyvern looks very lame. Griffin or a lion would be cool. Yeah, you're correct. Do they even have griffins? Is there a griffin flag? Because, seriously, this game definitely needs a unit called the Griffin Knight. Let's see. Nip. Definitely no. So uh, why does this uh, deer have a dog on its head? I, I, don't, I don't get it. You, you, I know you can't unsee it now. You can't unsee it. A uh, bear. Okay, there's a lion. A lamer lion. A pooch. A guy on a horse. Lame. Looks cool. A dog's boars. Fish. Plants. Well, we are female. Nah, shooting arrow. Why? I'm gonna go for shooting arrow. We could go something like this. Or a rose. So them to more delicate. <laughs> Lame. Yeah, they are basic as fuck. I really hope they're going to be introducing the, the banner editor that uh, the community made. Would be beautiful to create that banner editor. This could also be cool. Also, the tower would be nice. Ah, but come on, let's... Uh, Let's see. Da, 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 da. Guess this one's cute. This looks like a little aristocrat. Mm. Yeah, I guess this one's this one's gonna be fine. Uh, red. I I am a horse archer. Yes, I am gonna be building a horse archer, but I. Uh, not gonna wear a horse archer flag because that's not gonna be our main focus. Uh, yeah, it would be cool. I'm just not patient enough to create a flag. Do you like the eagle one and the lion standing up? You know what? I feel like the lion standing up is cooler, so let's go with that. Nah, red. On these settings, there are dangers you will spend longer choosing a banner than playing the game. Oh, come on, HE fits. I always play on the on these settings. Oh, 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 right. You're you're talking about the fact that if if you would have full customization of the flag, you would stay a lot on the flag itself instead of playing the game itself. You know what? The more people spend in this game, the better for the developers. So yeah, yeah, give us the ability to modify that shit. Uh, okay, that looks good. Looks good on the shield as well. Done. And let's get the fuck out of there. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a Kingdom of Swadia-ish banner. Uh, definitely gonna go for bow on this one. And then we're gonna be looking to um, max out polearm, bow, riding, charm, leadership, and lastly, steward. Once we have those at the max... We're going to focus on other stuff as well. I'm, I'm going to try this playthrough to not focus on roguery that much and see if I can feel a difference. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at the new um, writing skills. No, I don't think they there are new writing skills. I think they just added the artwork for the writing skills now that I think about it. Yeah, they just added the artwork. Uh, do the steward perks work? No, no server packs, they don't. Uh, the only reason I'm going for Steward is because it increases my party size. That's it. And be because it's very, very easy to level up Steward, and the more we level up Steward, the more levels we're going to have on the character itself. So, that's it. Uh, let's go with... I'm going to go with Icebreaker this time around. And we'll, we'll, this way we'll also verify if it's still bugged. And... Prob... We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. 
So we're going to start off with writing. I think I'm going to max out writing right off the bat, and then I'm going to go into bow and pole arm. So let's see what do we got here. Full speed increases your charge damage by 20%. Mounted troops in your formation have a 10% charge damage. Nimble steed increases your maneuverability by 10, and mounted troops in your formation gain 30 plus writing. Okay. Just want to look over everything and see if um, if anything changed. Increases carry capacity. Increases mounted infantry campaign speed. Okay. Sagittarius. Sweeping wind. Mounted warrior. Horse archer. Riding horde. Breeder. That's breeder. Animals in inventory have a very low chance to reproduce. Governed settlements bound villages have a 5% production increase. Okay. Then there is charge. Mounted patrols, cavalry tactics. Delay of the saddle increases your charge damage. Yeah, it's, they're the same ones. They're the same ones. Nothing changed here. Okay. 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 I can work with that. I can definitely work with that. And done. Let's check our gear. Uh, good. We do have a horse. Iron arming sword can get off. We do have a western simple spear. That's going to help us. Good. Uh, cause, is this couchable? It's not couchable, but it's fine. We usually just want to stab with it. Uh, armor, just a 4 2, two. I'm sure we're going to find something better. Hey, what the hell? That scarf looks nice. I want it in battle. There we go. Looking good, lady. Looking good. Uh, first stop will be at Poros. And we're just going to start beating each other a little bit in the arena, just a bit, just for some extra cash. We'll see if there's any equipment that we really, really want in Portos. Well, for starters, we definitely want a um, bow and arrow. Definitely want a bow and arrow. Any interesting... Pure Light Lance. This can be couchable, and it has a better length. 179. Probably mine does better damage, though. And the thrust speed is 84. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the more thrust speed, the better. So we're just going to go with that. Okay. Let's see a... Well, sadly, a short bow. A step bow can work. And if I could get myself tournament arrows, that'd be great. Awesome. We can. Simply because those capture enemies instead of killing them. And I think that's gonna be it. Probably some cool stuff in the armor department. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some good shit. I... Thayrun, we are literally starting off. I know that tournament lances can do better. Mate. Mate the hell there we go and now we're equipped we'll definitely need a better horse oh speaking of a better horse let's see uh, what is it HE feats well definitely need more riding for that reading on the forums it seems that weapons glance less in heavy armor at the arena Oh, right. Um, apparently, uh, with a new patch, we now have blunt weaponry in tournaments. That's going to be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, I know how tournaments, uh, tournaments and arenas work. I'd like to participate. So we're, we're small and we're fast, apparently. I hope that tutorial message will be there only once. Well, this d weapon definitely is not a blunt weapon. Got him. And now I can get that shield. Hello? Okay, I do admit, being smaller really feels stronger. But my god, does my one-handed skill suck. Is it just because the game again slow? Or maybe it's simply because I just don't have any athletics. We have, n we have one athletics now. Very calm. How do you maintain your temper? What temper? 
What calmness. Ooh. Ouch! Damn, son! That hurty hurt. Ooh, my, my reach is a little bit on the low side. Oof. Okay. Somehow I blocked that. I'm not going to look to give horse in the mouth. Got him. Da -da. Oop, there's somebody behind me with it with uh, spears. We're just gonna get out of their way. Nice shot. Need to be careful with maces. Oh, that's an archer. I see. The tournament lances at the beginning. No, oh, dude, it's fine. Jesus, there's no reason for me to get angry. I'm simply mentioning it that you're stating something very, very early. Oh, crap. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Need to be careful on the overhead swings, because overhead swings can now crush through block. So that was not phasing technology or phasing problems. Oh, poop. Oof. Okay. Oh, shit. No, I panicked. You know, instead of saying shit, or using my brain to say shit, I could have blocked and lived. Now, I kind of want to... In, in, my, in my brain, I'm not exactly sure if I said it out loud, but in my brain I was like, oh my god, we're going to win this. But then I died. <laughs> but then I died. So let's... uh. Okay, this is actually a very, very good uh, opportunity to train up Bo a bit. Just want some cash for the road, because we are going to go into Vlandian territory. Also, I ain't hitting shit. Oh, there you go. That's what's up. Nice. Nice. As long as the enemy doesn't come towards me, I'm okay. Of course, they will eventually come towards me, Also, I am a little bit running out of arrows. What is going on over there? Whew, okay, six arrows, we got a sword. Let's see the speed on the swing. Mm, could do better. Let's wait. No point in me wasting arrows from all the way over here. Oh, hello. I'm seeing an enemy that is focusing me now. Overshot it. Got him. Nice. Our skill with bows has increased to 11. I'm okay with that. Suddenly, I cannot press the C key to check my character sheet to verify... How long do we have until we level up? I usually like to spend time into the arena until I make around 1k gold, or until I level up two or three times. But for the sake of not boring you guys to hell, we're not going to spend a lot of time here. <sighs> ah, lame. Got me tried to trick him to shoot in a certain direction it didn't work okay another weapon that we look to utilize uh oh i've seen this before but this time we managed to trick him hey dude lame ow son of a bitch and I'm down. That's what you get. Yeah, the, this doesn't really look like a blunt situation. Seriously, if you're going to be using blunt weaponry in tournaments, why not use blunt weaponry in arenas as well? Yeah, instead of spears, just give us mallets or something. Also, I should take their spear. Since we are here, I should teach myself with the spear. Indeed, brutal indeed. 
By the way, guys, did you see that uh, Tales of World was streaming? In German, for some odd reason. Don't know why, they had 3k views and shit, but they were streaming in German. I know, yeah, haha. <laughs> Well, this is gonna take us nowhere. Unless that dude stabs him. Bloop. Come on, beat him up. That's what's up. There. Gamescom starts today? Hmm. Okay. Hope they're going to have a good time. I'm not going to be watching Gamescom. I don't have time to watch Gamescom. I ain't got time to bleed. What if I receive uh, an experience for each block that I'm uh, hitting the enemy with? Sweet Jesus, just die. Got him. Nice. Whew. Just going to... Take a breather over here in my corner. Wait for whatever happens. Okay. When will uh, Crusader Kings 3 come out? I don't know. Check Steam, dude. What's my main job? I am a customer support representative. I make sure that uh, certain companies' uh, users have working PCs. And this something under the first? Okay. Well, it's going to be in a little bit. 11 opponents. Okay. Well, I'm just going to stay here. Just says 2020. Hmm. Comes out on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday if you live in Australia. Well, there you go. September 1st. Also, I've seen the screen. I've seen some screenshots of Crusader Kings Three. <sighs> Guys, what's your opinion on it? Is it any good? Is it holy shit balls so amazing? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. To be careful of that dude. Ah, ah, ha! Uh oh. Gotcha, bitch. Nice. I mean, just the graphics or the whole game? Just the whole the game. Whole game. The only game of this time that got the combat mechanics right? This game? Meh. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Got him. I mean, if I have the throwing weapons, why not use them? They're not going to give me much, but hey. But yeah, I definitely need to get out of the world. Just get out of the world, start of killing looters. On, on my own. What? Yes? I am. Gotcha. Go, 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 gotcha. Ha ha! Uh oh, there's somebody behind me. Yeah, I heard that. Oof! 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 Ha ha! Oh shit! I just saved your life, mate. Oof! Uh, please? Mercy? Ah, damn. Ah, damn. And I'm going to be getting killed by a stray arrow in a second. Whew. Help. Oh, shield. Shield, 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 shield. Give me. And I'm going to just retreat in my own little corner. Hey, Archer. Fuck you. Catch. Yeah. Got him. Beautiful. Bring out uh, the spear. 
Seems like every Crusader King is three. Ba ah, crap. Seriously? Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, every Crusader Kings 3 base mechanic has uh, been vastly improved over Crusader Kings 2, though there are some DLC features missing. Okay. Should take too many DLCs to make it strictly better than Crusader Kings 2 with all the DLCs. Okay. Just feel like 50 bucks is very expensive. But maybe maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm being a little bit on the greedy side. But I don't know. I feel like... A Excel spreadsheet with better graphics doesn't really deserve 50 bucks. For some odd reason, he couldn't defend himself properly. It's 40. Oh shit! Oh, I, I apologize. It's definitely not 50. I mean, 49. Pff, pff, big difference. Oh, 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 oh my god. How could I make such mistake? Yeah, get stabbed. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Somehow I am doing something. It's causing the enemy to... Oh, shit. Well, it's not causing many enemies to shit, but... Uh, it's causing the enemies to not defend themselves properly. Nah, maybe it's just as me. Also... I'm trying to compare attack speed. Indeed. I think I'm slow. I have slower attack speed if I have a shield equipped. Would make sense, because I'm only wielding the spear with one hand. But still. Got him. Oh shit! No, please. I have a family. That's been kidnapped by... Oh, God. Give him a kiss. Oh, God. No. No. No, 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 no. You are the chosen one. Oh, God. Ho, 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 ho. Holy shit. Got him. Mm. You sit yourself down, brother. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, I thought it's going to go through. Oh, what? 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 I stabbed. I stabbed so hard. I don't think we won anything yet. I don't think we won any tournament. Oopsie. He is fast at throwing that shit. Ah, man. I should really stop zigzagging like that. It's just getting me killed. Do I have... Yes, I do have a spear stucking out of me. Sticking out of me, not stucking. Okay, it might be stuck too. What is that dude doing? Just sitting there lollygagging. Oh man. Hey! Finally hit somebody. I hit somebody again. Come on. Yeah, I'm missing everything. Why am I even trying? I'm just wasting my ammo. But I just want to get some experience, that's all. That's yeah, what's up. Oh, crap. Whew. There we go. Just... Okay, he is... Ah! Nice! That's what you get. And that was totally not me, but that's what you get. Oh, well. Hey, I got him on the butt. Oh, I should not get uh, too far away from the store. If I get too far away from the store, uh, enemies will spawn from here. And we don't want enemies to spawn from here. What, seriously? Right in my gut? What is that? Is that a sniper rifle? Goddamn sniper rifle. Oh, well, there goes my last arrow. A sword and a shield. I can work with that. I can definitely work with that. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Why am I going away from the safe place? I need to stay over here near the door where it's safe. 
where I know that nobody will spawn as long as I am next to the door. Ain't that right, Arrow? A oh, hello. Arrows? Do we have any other arrows around? No, that was my only arrow. This will be my only arrow. It will be used only to defend myself. As said, I'm not going to use it to engage. So if somebody's going to be charging me without a shield, that's towards the end of the arena, then I am going to use that. Smacked! Yes! Five opponents. Keep your eye on the boys. Uh, no, I'm not going to waste my arrow. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna maintain his distance, isn't he? This distance is it. Fuck, he's fast. I, I can't get close. Now that's a good spearman. That's a good spearman right there. He knows to maintain his distance. Son of a Please shoot him. Please just shoot him. Just, just fucking Hey I... Yes! Come on, Archer Extraordinaire. Be my dude. Good job. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So he is coming closer. We just need to hope that he's not going to shoot me on the lower part of the body. Just need to get close and kick his ass. He's just one dude. There we go. <sighs> yes. Good. Good, we won our first arena. It took us longer than expected. How much more until I level up? Yeah, there's a, it's a long time. And it's going to be a long time in the galaxy far, far away. Let's get out of here. And back. Tavern. Bacarios the Robber. Okay, speaking of, let's look at heroes. Alive. Hello, Dynamical. Welcome back to the end. Wanderers. Uh, lucky. Sure, I like. Break skull. No. Prince. No. Scholar. Yep. Engineer. Nope. Silent. But deadly. Could work. Wronged. Nope. The best one are mostly Asurai. Oh, okay, predated Dino. Why? Tell me why. The She Wolf? Willow Bark? Nope. Do we have a better medic? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. We got a good medic. Indeed, a new character, my man. Because there's a new patch. A Wanderer. AT Scouting. Oh, this is a good character for a caravan run. Uh, new, knowing, no, we already saw this guy, fatherless, no, wronged, nope, robber, no, the fish, 60 scouting, no, shield maiden, she's pretty, bye Therun, love ya, blood axe, no, of the hills. There's my boy. That's what's up. Quite a few of them have good leadership, horseback riding, as well as weapon skills that are pretty high. Great for heroes that want to lead parties. Okay. So you've seen, uh... The Falcon. Ooh, wait. Spice Fender. Yes. A must. To send out as a caravan. Blood Axe Loud. No. Shark, no. Sharknado, no. Hyena, nah. And Grey Falcon, hell no. Okay, so we got these dudes uh, that we want to grab. Lucky is in Revel. Razi. Danustika. Wanderer. Janam the Wanderer is in Jamea Castle. Why is she in a castle? Hills, Jacqueline, Danistika. Okay, where's my medic? The scholar is in Razik. There are two people in Danistika, if I remember correctly. Yep. 
but only the spice meter would be a priority. Hello, Marius. Welcome back again. Okay, so we don't have a smith, but it's fine. Uh, so we have a medic, we have a scout, we have quite a few spice vendors and leaders. That's good. Where is Razi? Over there. I feel like I should go to Razi right now. Yeah, it's been a while, Marius. It's been a while indeed. So is this is a new patch and it's a new playthrough? Pretty much. Pretty much. Let's move. We're going to go eastwards to Volstrom. I'm going to try to go to Razik and hire those people. Five lures. Let's see if I can handle them. Or will the rocks be my doom? My rocks... The rocks can be my doom. It, it can happen. Don't lie. Good. Good. And let's ride. Whoa, they were close. Anybody throwing rocks at me? No rocks have been spawned. Interesting. Oh, no. There's a rocker. You're gonna rock me like a hurricane, bruh? You'll be the first to go down. There we go. Ah. Need to be careful. Ooh, and there's a level up. Yeah, you know what? I like the red as well. It's a very cool looking color. It can hide the blood on my clothes. And yes, that was a reference, and I'm not going to tell for more. There we go. Medieval rock and roll was hard. Ha ha! Ha! You slap me on the knee, ceiling. I kill you last. Welcome to the end, my man. Welcome back. Okay. We got him. Ah, that one dude that we killed. But it's fine. Like this name? Or... Rowan Methos? Yeah, it's fine. It's a cool name. Spectre came up with it. Well, you guys chose the first name. Spectre chose the last name. The Methos family, the Freshmaker. So, oh, oh shit, capacity exceeded. Right, we do not have a lot of space. Oh, also, I definitely need to sell that arming sword. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Could definitely use that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try to slowly, slowly crawl my way back to Poros. Uh, but first, we're just gonna go balls to the wall into writing. I'm just gonna fill this up. Fill it up, three points into writing, and then afterwards, depending on how many points we have, might go into charm or leadership. But yeah, our priority is gonna be maximum, 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 maximum. Not necessarily in that order. Just saying. But we're going to try to fully, fully specialize into certain roles, into certain stuff. Um, we're not going to go for training anymore. Um, but I am, once I have 25 into training, because inevitably I'm going to be getting some, uh, simply because of the social aspect, I am going to be getting appraiser if I present decreased pe uh, trade penalty for equipment uh, instead of wholesaler, because we are not trading anymore in this game. Hello, gay friendo. Welcome back to the end, my man. How are you? Indeed, it has been a long time. Now let's crawl our way back to Poros. There we go. Uh, no, Tavern. Ransom all of those prisoners. We already gained two points into Roguery. You've been playing some Milsim games, but doing good. No, I'm not really excited for Crusader Kings 3. I never really got into Crusader Kings 3, Crusader Kings series in general. I know it's a great game. Uh, I just never had time to fully play to my heart's content. That's all. But yep, yeah, sure, eventually I'm going to be getting into Crusader Kings as well. Eventually, just right now. Mr. Sword of the Stream, how will you earn money if you won't trade? By killing people. By killing people, by selling weapons and gear. Practically, since we're going for a pure Vlandian playthrough, we will mostly be farming in uh, Sturator Peninsula. 
And Sea Raider Peninsula is going to be giving us a lot of prisoners, gear to sell, and I think we're going to be doing just fine. Uh, yeah, same, Crusader Kings 3 seems to have more clean UI, which, you know, it's all the series needed. Um, yeah, I do understand it has more clean UI. I'm going to check it out when I can. So we're just going to sell that and get some money. Let me look quick. And sell the wine and sell that one fish. Good. Isn't Crusader Kings pretty much total war with less battle and more diplomacy? Well, Crusader Kings is just a politics game. Just politics and diplomacy. And the battle is just a dice roll. Well, not necessarily a dice roll. The more people you... Uh, the person with a bigger army usually wins. That's how it works in Crusader Kings. It's kind of it, sadly. So, the question is, do I go to Razi first... And get myself uh, the soldiers that I, not not the soldiers the companions that I need. Or do I go to Vlandia and get myself a uh, few men? Yes, indeed, it is a dynasty game. Uh, you play as yourself and as your family. If you die, you take the role of your son or daughter or practically the next heir that you of your choosing. I'm going to go eastwards this time around. I really like that shade of red. It looks good. It looks nice. Okay, our writing is increasing. We're now at writing 24, and I'm expecting writing to increase like it's nobody's business. Uh, so we're going to try to keep an eye out for villagers on the road, because we want to buy their horses. One of the first priorities is to get our inventory going. I am going to be stubborn, and I'm going to try to not grab any recruits whatsoever. Because um, I, I do need some uh, caravan hands. I do need some people to tend to the horses and to the goods, and just to increase our inventory a bit. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to buy... Ooh, that's just too much. No, we're not going to buy anything, because we don't have the space. How many factions does it have? Uh, which one are you talking about, Crusader Kings? I don't know, as many king, as many uh, families as you can get. You can't always choose the heir. Most of the times, Galvakind just fucks you up. I, I would just, just gave an example of Burgon. You will have a say in how an heir is chosen, is what I was more referring to. Okay. Yes, exactly, Long Life. Let's keep moving. Our next stop is going to be... I'm going to try and drop by at Hosenfolk, and then I'm going to go to Razi. Although it's going to be dangerous to go th uh, to Razi, we might just get captured by desert bandits. And that's going to be a problem. Villager of Laventia. What do you guys have? What? What the hell did I press? What the hell did I press? Cancel. My criminal rating has been increased. Did I just steal from these guys? I just stole from these guys, didn't I? Oh my god, I stole from these guys by mistake. Shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you run out of heirs or stuff, if your family dies out, it's game over. Well, that's gonna make things interesting. Didn't just got a lot of fish though did i check the arena what are you talking about in uh vostrum yes i did well vostrum no longer is a safe place so we literally need to get out of southern empire territories because i just fucked up i have no idea what i did i think i convinced those villagers to give me their shit or something but I think I misclicked. Yeah, definitely, most likely misclicked something, and now we're at war with the Southern Empire by mistake. Um, but this could be interesting. There is a tactic that I'd like to test out, and that tactic is to see if it's more lucrative to be at war with a faction. Like it's in Prophecy of Pandor, for example. Prophecy of Pandor. Um, 
Usually, it's a good idea to be at war with one of the major factions and just do guerrilla warfare against them to make yourself a lot of cash. Is your goal World Conquest and Crusader Kings? No. Um, your goal in Crusader Kings is to try to make... Try to survive the game and make your family be as powerful as possible. And try to keep it together, more likely. Because um, Crusader Kings is a randomly generated game. There are random events that appear within the game. And most of the times you're just going to be waiting for shit to happen in the game. Um, Vidal the Scholar. Hey, the boy's here. That's great. How the hell is that fun? Uh, simply because of the stories that you can create. A famine struck the country, and then we decided to eat, to cannibalize our ladies-in-waiting, or some dumb shit like that. Then we killed the enemy family that was against us. We invited them to the court, and then we ate them. Or, or dumb shit like that. Or we went crazy, and we made the Horsa Prime Minister, or some dumb shit like that. So there's, there's some very, very interesting situations that you can get yourself into my man and it's weird at first but once you get the hang of it it gets very addictive indeed it does it does okay old workhorses will be very very nice oh our horde is 1.2 uh criminal rating decreases over time okay and eventually if i reach zero the southern empire won't be at war with me anymore that's nice it's nice dears oof 26 on that fish brother Best decision of my life to take to take from that villager. But my God, did that just go? Well, it was very lucrative. I'll give him that. Quite a hefty amount of cash has been made. Well, not super much, but decent, Mister Medic. Let's see what do you have. Oh, Haru, how much do you want for your services? Oh, 58. 50, 51, 8, 8, 1. That is perfect. Not too shabby. Let's check your gear. Actually, let's check your stats first, and then we're going to check your gear. Uh, so stats-wise, you are looking... Uh, capable throwing weapons, uh, capable one-handed, capable athletics. But to be honest, it's very dangerous for you to be on foot right now. Charm 1, Leadership 1, Medical 122. Let's go for Clan. Parte, Bidal, you're going to be the Surgeon. And I am definitely going to be the Quartermaster. There we go. Looks like a really good Doctor. 122 Medical is pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, let's check his gear for a bit. Uh, he does come equipped with the Horse, which is nice. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. I'll definitely need that. Thank you very much. 2.1, 11. Where's the Iron Fleece? You're fine. Put that on there. From what it sounds like, um, have to do a lot of studying to know what you're doing. I uh, watched a guy that had no clue what was going on. Yes, yes. Um, Crusader Kings is known to have a very, very, very complicated UI. Well, or intimidating UI, because it's not really complicated once you know what you're doing. But the new game apparently will have a cleaner UI. Sometimes you prefer putting your companions on foot, though. They do much more damage uh, than on a horse. Um, Mr. Min... I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce your name. I'm just going to call you Min. Uh, Mr. Min, companions can die now. You, you, Your character can die as well in the game so we're not gonna risk it we're gonna try and make badal here into a safe mounted archer we'll see exactly how that's gonna work or pan out but yeah you haven't touched it for a while well there you go mate there you go he's gonna be in the cavalry department for a while and let's move we're actually still gonna go to resi Will I be mad with me at all? They'll even invite you to a wedding party and you're already dressed in red and all? Ha ha, you funny person, you. So, let's move. We got ourselves some cash. Yes, we can die now. 
Death is a ting within the game now. Hello, 25 looters. Well, I'm definitely not going to fuck with you. At least not this early in the game. 28. So I am paying for my medic services. 28 Gs. You're an expensive boy, aren't you? Janab the Wanderer. And there's my scout. Wait, is she my scout? No, she's not my scout. He's my scout and he's a Jacqueline. Okay, Janab the Wanderer can be useful as a uh, spice vendor. Hello, a penguin named Paul. Welcome back to the inn. Can your kids take over when you die now? Yes, they can. Or your wife, most likely. Your kids won't be grow grown up enough. You have to start a new game to have the newest patch, or uh, you can go with an older save game. You can go with an older save game, but you can't be sure that everything will be applied to dead meat. I do recommend that you start a new playthrough. Can you die in battle? Apparently you can. You like one of these because he'd give you a medieval European vibe. I think that was the idea with them to begin with. Yes. So, Mr. Lucky and Revel. Razi. We already got Vidal. Wait. Do we, do we have somebody else? No, that's Pital. What the fuck? Oh, well, we, well never mind. We are Nerezi. I'm an idiot. Okay, Danustika. Nerezi. Jacqueline. Danustika. You know what? I'm not going to be taking her yet. Because, um... Well, the reason I'm not going to be taking her yet is because I have a limited amount of companion slots right now, and I would much rather prefer to grab my scout and the spice vendor. So I'm going to go with that first. Flanians always have the map because the Empire is so busy fighting on souls. Yes, but not anymore. They rebalanced the game, and now factions don't snowball out of control that much anymore. So I think you'll be fine, mate. So, let's go into the arena, join the tournament, and try to grab that trailed southern helmet. Skippy to skip. I'm gonna bet on myself. 2v2, huh? Yep, 2v2, and we have a throwing weapons dude, and a melee dude. I'm gonna try to get in close and personal with this dude. I missed. Well, my boy just got killed. It's actually dangerous to... I'm gonna try to kill the, the throwing weapons guy while he's on a horse, on horseback. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Need to get in close and personal with him so I can kill him because from from a far away I'm risking killing the horse. That's dangerous. He's gonna have a better aim on foot. That's what I'm saying or what I'm trying to say at least. Try to go zigzag. Just throw your stupid flowing weapon already. Waste your ammo. So you can get into melee. So we can fight. We can duke it out. And you getting closer to me will mean... That I don't have to worry as much. I gave you ample time to throw that weapon, goddammit. Ah, missed. Did you run out of ammo? Ah, lame. Two throwing weapons left. Hey! You hit your boy. Got him. Good. There. Oh, uh, let's see. Balance Baldwin and horse archers. So many horse archers. Right. What was different about Warman that made it so snowballing wasn't really a thing? Uh, the decision of... Oh, wow. That dude literally took the horse. It's amazing. So, the AI didn't really know how to make peace. Oh shit, well that's bad. 
Oh, that's definitely bad. Good shot. Ah, oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Hmm? What do I mean, what do I mean? The AI didn't have properly integrated thinking, logic, factors. It didn't take into consideration what was war, what was peace, and why they should go to war, and why should they go to peace. All they prioritized was conquering and taking and doing sieges. They didn't give a shit about anything else. I'm not exactly sure what they prioritize. I think they still prioritize uh, castles or something. Ah, damn you. <sighs> okay. Damn it! Well, disqualified. Lost the, ma lost the game. My doctor won, though. Leave. No point in continuing. We lost. There we go. Do we level up by chance? Oh, no. We have riding 25. Uh, what do we got? Full speed. Increases your charge damage by 20% or increases your maneuverability by 10. And we're going to go with increased maneuverability. Hello, pure red Chinese, I guess. Welcome, Didion. Short question. Did you have a problem on graphics with the patch? Nope. No problems whatsoever until now. Uh, what are you referring to? They went to peace in a good amount in your game? Well, good for you, low life. Did you play on the first patch? The AI would always run halfway across the map to raid your town, ignoring everything else. Ooh, hurtful. Hurtful indeed. Well, now that I am, my ego has been bruised because my medic killed me. Let's go away. Oh shit, we gotta go to Danustika. Um. Can I? Let's save. Is there infiltrate the city mechanics in the game? Didn't really check. The game is hard laggy. It tells me you have only 128 uh, megabytes of graphic RAM. No, I'm sorry. I don't really have that problem, my man. So you went full murder spree on their asses, huh, Paul? If Paul is your real name. But no, I'm sorry, Pure Red. Um, try to uninstall and reinstall the game. Is what I would recommend. Or switch back to the 1.5.0 version and see if that one has a problem. Or if it has the same problem. Probably has to tell the game to use your GPU instead of the integrated... Uh, GPU. Uh, yeah, that might also be a possibility. So let's go. We're at Danustika. We're gonna save one more time. Because as we go near the city, somebody will jump out and attack us. Disguise and sneak through the gate. Your criminal rating has been increased. You're quickly surrounded by the guards to take away your weapons. Okay. And I've been thrown in the dungeon. Okay. I guess that didn't work in my favor. So, staying in the dungeon will decrease my criminal rating, hopefully. So I've been in prison at Dino Seeker for one day. That's nice. Being a prisoner simulator. Cool. Uh, they wouldn't leave your town alone and kept escaping from prison, so that was the only solution. The final solution. Okay. Will this be the end of our heroine? Will this be the end of her story before it even began? So, how long until I do my time? Spend the long hours in the sunless dank schnitzy puff. Free you and sure for 672. Sure. Our roguery has increased, but my relation with Danostika has not. 
That's fucked up. Hello, Romania HDGA. Welcome back to the end, man. How you doing? Did we lose all of our stuff? We didn't lose all of our stuff. That's nice. I understand how when you get out of dungeon, your army is still there. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure on that myself. I'm gonna be attacking those looters. Hello, attack. Okay. You follow me and try not to get yourself killed, okay, mate? Good. No, 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 no. Stay away, mate. Well, I guess you're going to be a good tank in this scenario. Shit. Never mind. Stupid rocks okay you know what fight show me your skills doctor also if you die I am gonna laugh my ass off son of a bitch got him ah <sighs> yeah it's you've been following for a while my man not really dropping by but you have been following if, if you want to follow that's perfectly fine okay yeah, nothing better to do, so they were sitting in the tavern waiting for me. Mm-hmm, definitely. Couple of those looters are known to destroy armies. Yes, I know. Try talking to the, uh, to the guards. Maybe you can pay to reduce your criminal rating like at Skyrim. It would be nice, but I don't think it's integrated in the game yet. Beautiful. Yes, brothers. Keep distracting the enemy. Keep doing the thing that you do so well. Oh, dude, that is that dude's getting killed. Hey, no, never mind. He killed. A, he defeated the looter. He is my baby boy. He knows what's up. Is he running away? I'm not as really sure. Hey, no problem, my dude. No problem. You do you. Hey, quad. Welcome back to the end. Well, that went nicely. Could have been definitely better. But nice. Uh, nine looters for the looter god. I don't want the peasants. Thank you very much. All of that loot. Anything interesting? Hell yeah. Now you're back. There. Uh, anything else? Do you have mittens? You don't have mittens. Here's, here are some mittens. Uh, that's better. That's good. And done. So, I definitely can do shit over here, so I'm gonna go through. Ooh, that's risky. I, but I will have to... No, I'm gonna go through the north. I'm gonna try to reach my Zia in one piece. Although I did my time, you know. I spend my time in prison. Hey, Relum, welcome back to the inn. So I shouldn't be... You know, having problems anymore. Did I level up? I did level up. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, more writing for the writing god. And now we have a uh, point into bow. Let's see. Reduce the accuracy penalty by movement by 30%. Or increases your headshot damage bonus by 30% with bows. <sighs> bow equipped troops in your formation gain plus 20 archery level archery skills. Bow equipped troops in your formation gain 5% damage. I'm going to go with bow control. I really hope this means that I'm going to be more accurate while moving on a horse. I really hope that's what it means. Probably not, though. And it's wishful thinking. But I want to believe. How you doing, Relum? Hey, eight looters. It's going to be a good battle. Fight me. Follow me, mate. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oof. That's actually quite a few. A few of them throwing rocks. Keep 
your distance mate at least until we thin them out a bit got him one sec oh shit well the tactic of kiting the enemy works so 13 arrows to go, that should be enough to take out at least, oh shit, a few of them. Of course, see if I manage to hit properly. Oh shit, there we go. Uh, maybe dead aim is the extra damage you need to one-shot everything on ladders when you are sieging? Hmm, maybe. But sadly, I need the other one. Yes, permadeath is enabled. I, It always has been. Beautiful. Okay, mate. Attack. Four arrows for the arrow god. Will it be enough? Got him. Uh, quality archers can turn a siege into a snipe off. I'm sure they can. Hey, the, this dude killed him. Nice. Good job, medic boy. Wait, take a life. There. You died by humping the wrong tree. Maybe, maybe. sometimes uh, you just gotta die. What's up with the stream buffering? Seems to be on your end. I think it's on your end. Uh, guys, you have problems with the stream buffering or something? By the looks of the bitrate, it seems stable. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, you give me those nopes. Mm, love it. Or are those okay for me? Sure, that, that works too. Uh, nah, no. But I think you might want this. Yep. Huh, you're a thin dude. I didn't see you for a thin dude, but that's fine. Alrighty, so then go for it. We march to Mycia. Uh, don't get near the city, though. Might be problematic. Who's injured? Is my medic injured? I think my medic's injured. You remember back in Warband where you could kill off 80% of the enemy forces uh, before even dr dropping the siege tower with good archers? Hmm. How am I at war already? Uh, I threatened some villagers to give me their goods. If they wouldn't give me their goods, I would have killed them. Uh, ha, ha, by mistake. I misclicked. Yeah, that shit happens, man. That shit happens. So now we're at war with the Southern Empire for a while. Hello, nine looters. I Oh shit, that's 12. That's 12 of them. Is he running away from me? Ah, oh, no, he's running for the garrison at Melios. And there was a graphic glitch. What the fuck is going on? Yes, yeah, you see that flickering of the woods? What the fuck? I, I even know the exact position. Haha, there it is. This position is bugged. It clips out, uh, it clips out, uh, the trees. Interesting. Hmm? Uh, well, if you start to block archers how they should and armor becomes more realistic, archers will be, will be really nerfed. Indeed. I roll for the diplomacy, it was critical fell. Yes, it was. The flickering of the trees. The tree flicker. And I got myself some looters to kill. Also, just having us fight more enemies than we can, in theory, will give us a big increase in renown, if I remember correctly. Oh, shit. I really hope we can kill them all. I'm not going to get killed by arrows. Sorry, not arrows, by rocks. Rocky Rock Balboa. Dude, move, you idiot! Jesus Christ! Have I read about the new Tribute War Peace system? Yes, I did. So practically, the... The kingdoms will be using their brain now. Because until now, they didn't, haven't been using their brain. Sure, Theron, what's the news? Why are you so happy? Oh, shit. Suck. Got him in the dick. Get out of my way, mate. 
Run, 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 run. Uh, they are earthbender, possess the power of rock. Yes, they are earthbender. But they're the earthbenders from the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Uh, those earthbenders. You know, the, the lame ones instead of the really cool ones. That can just throw tanks in the air. Glad Mexico is working on that because I know he's a beast working and is an important part of the game. Yeah, he is. I think that dude finally ran out of rocks. Did, did I just phase through those dudes? Holy shit, man. But I'll just end it, that man. He didn't give two shits. Okay, if I take out the pitchfork guy, I'm going to tell the doctor to charge in. Run away. Run away. Yep. I'm probably going to be a, a mercenary for Vlandia and then become a vassal eventually. But I want to try out mercenary life for a while. Got him. Snipe that motherfucker. The most important part, he's on the forums 24 7 listening and taking suggestions of the community while he develops. That's very nice, man. It's very nice. I am running the enemy down with my full speed. Oof. Yeah. Beautiful. And one more dude to go, right? The fuck is going on over there? We ride. Our bow skills are now at 40. Nice. To be honest, Mounted Archer levels up very, very fast. I've noticed that your combat stats just go super high, super fast, super all the time. Which is nice. Uh, oh, that is a lot of looters. Give me one. I desire one. There. Can I look like a bandit lord? Nope. Nope. Wrong play. Hmm. Uh, just curious, if you want to test mounted archery, why don't you just go with Kuzait? Because I want to play with Vlandia. Min. That's all. I simply want to play with Vlandia. Because I want to test out uh, mercenary life and raiding uh, Sea Raider Peninsula. And since Sea Raider Peninsula is in Vlandian territories, it just simply made sense to go with Vlandia. Plus, I want to test out more of their crossbowmen, see if they change, see if they are better. And that's kind of it. It's pretty straightforward. And to level up, we gain three skill points in roguery, like a badass boy. Uh, we found Rothard. Okay, hello Rothard. Lucky to find you here. Hello, uh, Zivago. Welcome to the inn. Don't feel like I recognize your name. Thank you. Happy new patch. Day to you too. <laughs> Tragic tale, my condolences. I can use someone like you in the party. You are an expensive bastard. There we go. Let's check his stats. Also, we leveled up. That's great. Probably going to go psychosocial to the max since we already have the best attribute there. And definitely an extra point into writing. Bring that up. And now we have a 170 threshold for writing. That's cool. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I um, think next up we're just going to put three points into bow. Because those will be the two main weapons that we're going to be utilizing. So having these at an accelerated rate will kind of secure us quite a few levels. Which is cool. Uh, this is going to go up to 10 on its own. Well, 15, 20 ish. Yeah, it's going to be looking nice. Uh, done. But no, the reason I went to the character screen is was not necessarily to level up because I completely forgot about that. Is to check Rothard of the Hills skills. So he has good one handed, good crossbow. Okay. Good scouting. He sucks at all that is riding at athletics. Okay, um, shitty stats, man. Shitty stats. I'm gonna try to make him a mounted crossbowman, most likely. Uh, because I just want him fast and safe. Uh, you'll be getting a world's expensive PC from your cousin in USA. The PC specs are an AMD Threadreaper 3990 with 64 core and 128 thread paired, blah blah. Asus RTX 20, uh, 2080 Ti and 64 gigs of RAM. It'll be sometimes 
stating in our stream that I need a gaming PC, then you called your cousin and he's sending you that PC. Um, what are you going to do with that? Your oh, so two Asus RTXs. Ooh, that is pretty hardcore. Uh, that is an amazing PC. You're going to be be able to play whatever the fuck you want. They rude. It to be honest, it really sounds. Um, it really sounds too good to be true. But hey, I'm happy for you. You can reload on a horse, isn't it? I mean, reload a crossbow. You can reload a crossbow if it's the most basic tier crossbow, if I remember remember correctly. But again, it's going to be something that we'll test out. Also, what does he come equipped with? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely goddamn nothing. Well, a sword, but still. Yep, that's what I remembered too. Comes with a 240 hertz monitor. Okay, again, good for you. Should I be super impressed? I'm actually very, very satisfied with my setup. Probably that's why I'm not very impressed. Am I having problems getting on your horse after dismounting? You are. Yeah, you have to look in a, in a weird angle uh, to get back up on a horse. You can't look directly at the horse. You, you gotta look towards its neck. Weird, weird, weird uh, positioning on the horse. There you go. There you go. There you Oh, ho, hello. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be getting those. Thank you very much. That's cool. So we gotta give that dude a horse. Trade. Yes. Uh, Ichi Feats, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. Thank you. Sell all of that. Horses for the horse god, huh? Um, Min, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. Sturgeon Trotter. More step horse. Could go for a blandy and a horse through, but that'll require 60 riding, and I'm not ready for that yet. Let's go for speed. Now, do I want speed? Kinda want HP on my horse. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sturgeon Trotter HP 220. Midland Palfrey 200. Saddle Horse 200. Step Horse 210. Really? What I have has the most HP? Also slow as shit. But still. Okay, give me a Sumter horse for the boys. Two Sumter horses will be the way to go. For now, at least. Uh, dual GPU setups still exist, but they're much less useful than they used to be. Okay. I mean... I really hope they're going to be working in tandem and they're going to be nice and cool. I'll get a horse upgrade from looting from Yeah, probably going to be looting some Sea Raiders, and they're going to be giving us some horses. Uh, total, my favorite Total War game is definitely Warhammer. Definitely Warhammer. And if you're going to ask me a Warhammer 1 or Warhammer 2, I'm just going to answer yes. Uh, some games won't work nice with dual GPU. I'm, I, oh no, you're most likely going to be taking one out if they're more of a problem than they're worth. Whatever will you do? Except taking them out. Huh. Am I being too mean? Am I mean? Okay, seems to be the same uh, stuff. No, 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 this one's better. This one's definitely better. Uh, this dude needs a saddle. Trade for the saddle god. What do we got here? A rugged saddle, imperial, rugged. Camel saddle with heavy load all over your face and lower back. Strip leather harness. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that northern light harness. Now it's a little bit on the expensive side, but I, th I think it's going to increase our survivability. So. Ah, oh, no, it's still bugged. The northern light harness is still bugged. Look, it looks so dumb on the horse. Ah, oh, man, fix your fucking harness game. Mexico, if you're seeing this, please give give the harnesses some love. Also, speaking of, what type of harness do you? Oh, yeah, okay, you're fine. You are definitely fine. Uh, Sumpty the horse and saddle. There we go. Hey, it still has better stats. I'm still gonna use it. Okay, 
wait until the daytime. It's also gonna heal us a bit. What is going on? What is going on? Hmm? Oh yeah, Mexico is one of the main developers of um, Bannerlord. What's the size of Bannerlord? As almost as big as my. <sighs> nah, it's not worth making that joke. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Not exactly sure. I never checked how big Bannerlord is. But I'm sure your new PC will will be fine running it. I feel like that is very slow. Oh, that's great. We're just gonna wait here a little bit more. Around 70% should be fine. Good. Arena. No tournament. Let's get out of here. Oh, righto. A clan. Parties. Yeah, boy. Here's the scout. Good. And the next stop's gonna be Saniopa. Let us go. 22 liters. Nope. No, thank you. Too hardcore for me. 7 forest bandits. Oh, no. Mm -mm -mm. I will dodge you. 49 gigs, give or take? Sure. You know, it's really not that big to today's standards, right? I mean, GTA has 60, Red Dead Redemption has 70 or 80, I think. I don't know. It's big. There's some big video games out there. Min, what do you mean 50? It's 49. Oh, also, Shepherd Boy. Hi, welcome back to the end. Red Dead is 150. Oh, my heart. Okay, those dudes are engaging my soul. Completely ignoring the caravan. Great. Um, I guess we're going to go to Diathma now. What do you mean? It's like saying Crusader Kings is 50 bucks. It's not. Crusader Kings 3 is 50 bucks. It's not. It's 49. Big difference. Let's go. Hey, seven looters. Mm -mm, let me eat you. Get in my belly. Fuck, that's an old reference. Oh, no. Hear me, uh, but where is... Oh, there you are. Hello, mate. I don't know how you downloaded GTA 5 for four days, one hour and 17 minutes. Well, I'm sorry, mate. That sounds like a pretty hard time to do. You should really upgrade your uh, internet contract, my man. Your internet contract needs some love. Wonder to speedy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm not even gonna ask. Whew. My heart, dude. Nice head shot. Get out of the way. It is. It is really bad. But yeah, you <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea to sell one of those RTXs. Alright, it is now at 51. That means we can uh, upgrade it and get a new perk. Nice shot. Good. Let's get the boys out. That dude literally missed to even attempt to attack him. Did he just aggro them? Your sure is pretty bad, but still at 30 megabytes per second. That is that is godhood compared to what Theron has. 
Dustpan Joe, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to the point in. If you sell an RTX, you can buy a pretty fast internet. You can buy a pretty fast internet or keep keep it maintained for a few months. Well, probably a year, maybe more. You resist 40 megabytes per second and you sometimes complain? I mine swoop 250. Mine's 250 per second and 250 upload. Because I needed the extra upload so I can stream properly. Good. Yes, the day is ours. Awesome, awesome sauce. You're debating on playing this or Crusader Kings 3. I know they're different, but I'm having a hard time deciding. Both take some commitment. Um, Dustman Joe, I recommend that you play Bannerlord. Simply because Crusader Kings 3 will be an incomplete game on delivery. Um, most likely Paradox Entertainment will milk the fuck out of it by adding a shit ton of DLCs. And only once you have all of those DLCs, you will feel the complete experience of Crusader Kings 3. While Bannerlord, if it's gonna have two, maybe three DLCs, that's gonna be amazing, but at least they're not gonna be, uh, they're not gonna be the factor that's gonna complete the game. Uh, the factor that's gonna, that's gonna complete the game uh, will be the modding community, because let's face it, the developers will most likely fuck, fuck it up somewhere along the line, and um, yeah, you will most likely be having much more fun with free mods than with paid DLCs that just fill up the game. Uh, no, no, no. 250 mega download, 25 upload. There's a difference there. So yeah, that's my uh, two cents on the matter. But they're just two cents, so you can do whatever the fuck you want, Espanjo. Okay, 54 into writing. What do we got here? Increases your mount HP by 20%. Mounted troops in your performation gain 10% HP to mounts. Uh, next, uh, I don't know. Might be useful. When your mount falls in battle, it has 50% chance of getting lame instead of 100% chance. I've never seen this happening. I've never, um, was in a situation where my horse fell and then it became lame. Never happened. So probably just going to go for will scrapped. Will scrappy scrapped. Thanks for the input and I agree. Okay, the spin, Joe. Um, you're also always looking for a good turn-based medieval game? Looking for suggestion and all? Uh, go and try out Battle Brothers. You'll really, really like Battle Brothers if you like turn-based games. This is true for all Paradox Grand Strategies. They all live on never-ending DLCs. Hearts of Iron, Europa, Universal, Crusader Kings. Yes, indeed, Burgon. It's definitely true. It's stated from uh, the experience of the game. Uh, what the fuck? Wait, what, what, what just happened? No! I, I paid what? Did I just hire men? I hired men. By mistake. You kidding me? Fuck off, men. I'm not paying you. I already paid you. What the hell just happened? I tried to click on this guy to see why he was red and it selected the dudes. What the fuck? Well, what the fuck ever. Um, Total War Medieval 2. What's with Total War Medieval 2, man? That's one of your favorite? Good for you, man. It is. It is a good game. Uh, also, it has a lot of mods, which is nice. Um... Paradox has to survive somehow? Mm. Hey, boys. Welcome back to the end, my man. What drinks are on the menu today? Grape juice. Living that dream, man. Living that dream. Okay, I'm gonna try to participate in the tournament, see if I can uh, get that money back, to be honest. Just get the money back. Let's see. First thing is, how can you download it? Download what, they read? Ooh, magical lordly mittens of magical lordliness. If we could win. 
Thanks for the 50 bits, boys. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, well, that's it. Now we just gotta hope that our team will win this. And who am I kidding? They won't. Simply by looking at that heavily armored motherfucker. Well, I just lost all my money. And there goes another one. Oh no, yes, the Imperial Recruit will stop them. Also, they had a Legionnaire, a Malicious Spearman, and Heavy Horseman, and my Doctor. And, yep. Bullshit. <laughs> if I heard any rumors around town... Um, I heard that uh, Wasteland 3 is going to be coming out soon, and if you like Fallout and the Wasteland series, you will definitely want to check out Wasteland 3. Besides that, I also learned how to make the uh, Tomb Kings work. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't think I spotted the UAC link. That's fine. I think I should stick with Warband and Max Graphics and Battlesize 530. And GTA San Andreas as well. Okay. Right, good for you. Alright, so uh, let's get the fuck out of here. I really don't have a lot. Did, they, did the game not take the cash from me? I feel like it didn't take the money from me for that tournament. Let's keep moving. We ride, brothers. 24 looters. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Seven looters. More my cup of tea. More my size. Bite size. Let me bite you, boy. Yeah, yeah. There. I think we're fighting in the city, in the village, but I don't care. Unless it's a foresty village. Okay, it's not a foresty village. What is... I don't think I've ever seen this scene before. Looks cool. Very Mediterranean vibe. Hmm. Okay. I look like olives. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, you're you're pushing me. Stop pushing me. I'm trying to aim here. There we go. Let's move. Those rocks, man. Those goddamn rocks. Also, uh, Crusader Kings 3 is coming out in, on the 1st of September, in case you don't know. Boys, I just found out as well. Since it's not really a game that I'm interested in, there really no one would come out. Okay. Got him. Ow. Next shot. Where's the other dude? Did he die? I think he fell and he can't get up now. Got him. And got him. Nice. <sighs> we have won the battle. Yeah. Seems my medic got injured. Take all of those prisoners and move on. I definitely need to give them, give them bows as well. Give them bows and put them in the bow department. There's a tournament here, but I have 36% HP. Cutting it a little bit close, I would say. But it should, in theory, be fine. In theory. Famous last words right there. What was that? 
Schnitzy Puff the Lucky. Uh, I did say I did favor him, but hmm. have you know I don't actually expect you to give me some real news when asked for rumors. It's funnier if you make up something ridiculous so we can expand on the hit point and lore. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. If I am to give out rumors or stuff like that, I really like to give out real fact rumors and stuff. You know, be helpful, not just create stuff out of my ass. I don't know. I, I feel like it feels like lying if I just give you random stuff. How much am I going to pay for my gosh darn 200? How much am I paying? Um, Around 10 euro a month? Around that ballpark. Yeah, around 10 euro. For the internet. And TV. More? Yeah. How much do we pay? Fifteen? Yeah. Isn't that much? Yeah. Yeah. Sixty eight lei? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so around fifteen. Around fifteen euro. Around the ballpark. No, I'm not really in trouble. We are actually discussing it, Shifi. The fact that she corrected me is very nice because now I can give you guys a more accurate number. Ah, uh, Shepapa, all that. Just give us more cash for the cash god. Wait here until the next day. That's when I'm going to be having more HP. And our medic is going to provide with... Yeah, they nerfed it. What the fuck? So it was bugged before that me and my soldiers were healing up like it was nobody's business. But now it's very, very slow. Even though my I have a medic. So weird. So weird. Okay. Arena tournament join. What do we get? Nice. I would love to have that. Hopefully I can win. Okay, 1v1s, man. Okay, that is not a blunt weapon. That is definitely a sword. Holy shit. Nope, that was blunt damage. Oh, that is definitely blunt damage. Okay, so they look sharp, but they're blunt weaponry. Oh, that went through armor like there was nothing. You pay $60 a month for 200 megabytes per second. Oh, holy shit, that is a lot. You also receive TV and a phone, a landline phone for that. Just did a Google search and found that Romania is the fifth best country in the world when it comes to internet speed. All location matters are done. Top five countries are Singapore, Sweden. Sweden again. Wow, fuck. Sweden is on second and third place. That is amazing. Uh, Denmark, Norway, and Romania. Interesting. Just internet connection. Ooh, you are getting robbed, Garanti. You are getting robbed. Within the chat rules, does the never-ending subject include the never-ending story? Sadly, I've never read Saw... I've never read or seen the movies. And I didn't even know there was a TV series about the never ending story. And now it's not included in the rule. Well, you should switch to Singapore? I guess. I, I've noticed, boys, that you put Sweden twice. For living in Australia, we're sold basically two cans and a string. <laughs> Ouch. We pay 100 bucks monthly for 150. Internet only. Oh, Snuggle Nugget, I am so sorry. Dude, that hurts my soul. A hundred dollars for 150 megabytes and just for the internet. Where are you from, Snuggle Nugget? People who bundle all the three services will pay up to 200 and 300 dollars a month here, depending on what channels they get. Shit, dude. Hardcore. Pay 100 megabytes per sec, which is actually a pretty good deal in the US. Regional monopolies in the US are brutal. Man, you boys are hurting. You boys be hurting. Oh my god, it's it's a 2v2. That is just wrong. I'll defend you! I just smacked that dude dead. I see! So they made it so that you can actually fight heavily armored dudes. So they um, nerfed tournaments. They made them easier. 
Or, sorry, they buffed tournaments. They made them easier. And because there are a few providers in the in the in the in New York, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You already can pick between Spectrum and Centric Link. So sixty bucks a month for hundred megabytes per second, or forty bucks for thirty. <sighs> Internet service providers collude and agree not to compete with each other's territory. It's illegal, but lobbyism own our government. I say, Reverend Romanian, when a letter has an above um it does that mean that you stretch out the vowel sound no it actually means it's a U sound you don't stretch it out that simply is the letter U. it is a vowel yes but you don't stretch the sound out it is simply the sound U. no 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 he literally showed the U. Uh, If it's the other way around, then it's a uh. Uh. You pay two bucks for your 250 kilobytes internet unlimited best saving. Uh huh. Oh, Thayring, you're gonna be doing great. Pay 10 euro for 40 megabytes per sec. Uh, you know that's a little a lot in Lithuania, but I don't live in a big city. Hey, Marius, that is perfectly fine. That's a good. That's a good deal. In comparison to what the U.S. has. Why make tournaments easier? Uh, they were already incredibly easy. Just buff the amount of gold you get from the bets. Uh, Muster Witch is because um, enemies in heavy plate armor, well, sorry, in high tier armor, did not flinch when you would slash at them. So you were practically forced to stab at them, which was, to be honest, not fair for the rest of the contestants with the low, low armor. How do you say dog in Romanian? Kuine. Even Elon Musk can fix the internet speed with evil corp corporate managing it. Uh, he could literally just make a internet providing service that will be very, very cheap and just make the other companies out of business. Oh my god, this is easy. Oh, that is so easy. Oh, I love this weapon. Give me this weapon in, in out on the field. I assume you're thinking about the... Grocery list for tomorrow. Okay. Have you ever this mean anything when AI is retarded? Right. Okay, Mr. Bitch, sure. Not everything everybody's as good as you, I guess. Elon would charge 3k a month for it and give you a fancy blowtorch for signing up. Fuck yeah he would. It's nice how this channel is growing and community expanding while not losing its wholesomeness i mean we try to be as wholesome as I, I mean me personally i try to be as wholesome as possible and i try to communicate with the community and try to you know be civil and i usually shun everybody who j is just being an ass right off the bat can you stop Locking me. There we go. You see, the vowel sound now, uh, since dog is clean, eh? with the A having a U. Yes. Uh, three year lock in plan and get a free Tesla. Probably. You like to be wholesome? Good. It's nice to be wholesome. A6700. Oh, oh. Welcome back, video. After 50 years, I think that a one terabyte internet speed is slow. Dude, 100 megabytes per sec. So, to be honest, 25 megabytes per second is good. It's fine. It's glorious. I grew up with uh, the type of internet that you had. You have, Faerun. So, you know what? Anything that's above 10 megabytes per second is for me. Come on, it is. Oh my god, the dial up to connect to the internet, and then you would just die in front of the computer, hoping that you will reach. That you, that you will log into the Yahoo Messenger or the yeah. whatever you were doing at the time. Yeah, yeah, you could go eat and then come back and it was still, it was still load up or something, I'm sure, like that. 
You have to build his own infrastructure though, unlike in the EU. In the US, companies can own the wires and not allow anyone else to use them. So uh, the service scenario, you have to lay all your own lines if there are already lines there. Uh, why not just launch a satellite? I mean, he's so good at launching rockets, he could just launch a satellite and just give free wi well, not free Wi-Fi, but just give Wi-Fi to everybody. I mean, I feel, I feel like the future uh, of internet speed and stuff like that will be universal Wi-Fi, global Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, Mustrovich, because my my weapon was a blunt weapon. Uh, what did you say? Yeah, that is true. That is true. Over here, companies do compete with each other to give you the best package, so you don't leave them for the competition. It, over here, it's fair game. You do. It's a dog eat dog world. That's you got to give out the good shit if you want to keep the people. And then cat is Pisica, with the little U over the A. Uh, yes, indeed. Can we call them hats? Yeah, we, I guess we call them hats, Kuchulitsa. Little hats. Your internet service provider doesn't even offer anything below 100 megabytes per second, so they can justify the high price. Sure. Satellite internet is a thing in the US, but it's super expensive and slow. It's gonna get better someday, Shepherd. Uh, Shepherd, my boy. Competition makes capitalism work. Sure. I think, we, I think just guys, guys, just just come over to Romania. Everybody says that we're a third world country, but goddamn, we have good internet. Just just come over here. You'll be fine. Uh, so long. How long till World War Three starts? I hope it's not going to be within our lifetime. And I hope that will never happen. We have some semblance of competition for internet service provider where I live, but it's not great. And your 200 megabytes per second package is the lowest any will go, as far as you know. Good. Cool. You love Eastern Europe? Praying like crazy for your beloved Belarus right now? Well, they'll be fine. Do, uh, do we drive on the wrong side of the road, though? Uh, we drive on the right side. As in, you, <laughs> yeah, right side would be. Romania also has the best castle. We have a few castles, but I think, I think France and Germany have better castles, and I think UK have some interesting castles as well. But that's just architecture wise. Uh, where will you come and stay in Romania? Wherever you want. Is this chat going against polit uh, politic involving themes? Yeah, I'd like to avoid going in that rabbit hole. There's there's no point in talking about politics and stuff because well we're not gonna get anywhere with that. Yes, please. Okay, so we got ourselves a new hat. That's gonna be nice. Well, I know that. Oh no no no. I just wanted to sell that. There we go. I know that in UK and in Australia, uh, you guys drive on the left. I'm not exactly sure if in New Zealand they drive on the left. I don't know. Um, and I'm not exactly sure about Canada either, or America. No, no, in America and Canada they drive on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, it's, it's UK and Australia that drive on the left. I'm not exactly sure about other countries though. Yeah. Japan? They're on the left? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they are. I don't, I, no, as in, I literally don't know. Do you, do you know for certain? Yeah, from anime. Oh, from anime, okay. <laughs> uh, South Africa also on the left, and I think India. Huh, okay. I don't, I don't know that India was on the left as well. Oh, right is right, driving on the right is superior? N no, boys, it's not. It depends where you uh, learned, in, in which country you learned. If you learned to drive on the right, you will feel very awkward when you attempt to drive in a country that's uh, on the left. Does Japan even need to drive since they mastered the trains? And they most likely have an AI overlord controlling all of the cars? 
Uh, Japanese don't drive, they fly. That's why they're a uh, closed country. So outsiders don't learn their secrets. Fuck yeah, they don't. Uh, Bangladesh is also left drivers. Okay. Come to New York and visit the city. They drive forever. There's <laughs> people. Uh, come to New York and visit a city. They drive wherever there's pavement. Uh, blue. Okay, I'm. I'm not gonna click on that though. Hey, Darman. Welcome back to the end, dude. How are you? So we won the tournament here. Let's move to Sionin. Okay, so we are far away from the Southern Empire, no longer in danger of getting killed or attacked by their stuff. Ooh, but am I gonna go and fight those 16 looters with 58% HP? Fuck no, because I'm a coward. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go there. Dodge those looters. Hey, Rishkaz, welcome back to the end, dude. Haven't seen you in a long fucking time. What companions do I usually use? A medic, a scout, and then spice vendors. And if I can find a spice girl, that's even great. There are no spice girls, I'm kidding. You're good? A new character? Yes, new character, new patch. Usually for each new patch, I just bring out a new playthrough. Also, no longer going for a trade uh, playthrough. I'm going for a mercenary slash battle farming playthrough this time around. Also, we're most likely going to be helping out Landia conquer the world. I'm not going to be going for my own faction this time. I'm just going to see how vassal life will treat me. Takir the Hyena? Damn, okay. Uh, nothing in the arena. Trade. Let's see. Right. Uh, let's see if they have any cheap bows. Some cheap bows would be nice. And a cheap crossbow would be great too. A step bow can work. Mountain hunting bow, no. Long bow, no, nothing. Uh, right, tournament arrows. Actually, I'll need those tournament bolts. And tournament arrows, good. There. Uh, let's see, whenever I look at a picture of the world and their borders, I can't help but wonder how the hell did Germany conquer most of Europe in World War II when there are a speck of a country systematically, Paul, taking it one step at a time and utilizing the, uh, at the time, never seen Blitzkrieg tactic. You've been working a lot? No problem, Rich Kaz. I hope you had a good time at work. How will the king life treat you? I'm not going to be a king. I'm going to be a vassal. How will the king treat me, though? I don't know. We'll see. I, I know what you were referring to when you said speck of a country. Okay, inventory screen. Uh, you. Okay, which one was the archer and which one was the crossbowman? So the doctor is... Ha! <laughs> Doctors with throwing weapons. <laughs> Silly doctor. I ain't giving you a throwing weapon. Silly doctor. You're gonna shoot from a horse. From up high. Until we have a few men and you will no longer need a horse. And yes, you are the crossbow Rothard. So, inventory screen, uh, Bidal, here's your step bow, here's your stepped arrows, and I might, nah, nah, I'm gonna give you a shield. You gave both of them a shield, actually. Should keep them a little bit more alive, and to be honest, let's go with two, and nah, nah, nah. Batter Horseman's Kite Shield, let's go with two of those. Sounds good. Hmm? Um, main aim in World War II is to conquer the world, having one kingdom remaining. I, I, I guess they ruined. Do I like uh, Papanash? I was looking at different desserts around the world, and Papanash is a Romanian dessert that looks amazing. Yes, yes, I really, really, really like Papanash. It's uh, practically bread, sweetened bread dough that has cheese mixed into it, in inside the dough directly. And uh, yeah, I guess it's donut dough, but they also add cheese in the dough. And um, you put sour cream and jam on top of it. 
I had you at sweetened dough. Yeah, but boys, uh, the jam and the sour cream are not uh, mixed in. Oh yeah, you can also just put chocolate on it or vanilla. Yeah. Although I, although the classic combination is sour cream and jam. Mm -hmm. Sour cherry jam or uh, strawberry jam or just cherry jam in general. No, oh, no, prune, prunes, blueberry is a classic. Okay, I guess blueberry, sure, fine. Sorry, Marius. Yeah, I guess raspberry can work too. But nah, you're right. Blueberry, I think, is the classic combination. Blueberry jam with sour cream on top of a freshly baked cheesy dough. It's fried? It's deep fried? Holy shit, it's deep fried. I thought we would just put it at the oven and it's done. Oh, I see. So it's literally like a donut. You just deep fried. Cool. The more you know. There's also the boiled kind? Oh, that sounds... They're smaller? Okay. Oh, it's the one with the breadcrumbs with the uh, sugar? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's a, there's also another alternative recipe where you just uh, boil them, and then you put, you mix in fried breadcrumbs, so just crispy breadcrumbs with sugar, and you just put it on top, and uh, with, I think, with a little bit of syrup as well, and I think it has some syrup in there, and they're delicious. Sure, yeah. Now you got to plan a trip to Romania? Fuck yeah, you should plan a trip to Romania. Sounds familiar? I think uh, I had that as a kid. You might have. And the second one you definitely had? Um, yeah, I'm sure it's out there somewhere as well. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm now in the mood for some papanash. I would, I would eat some papanash. We should have ordered some papanash? We should have ordered some papanash. Yeah. Well, we'll order next time. Hmm? How do you speak with a customer care person? In English. They rude. With words. What? Damn, it looks like you will get 10 kilos after eating it. Um... I don't know. I never got 10 kilos after eating that. And yeah, it's not something you have every day. Unless you make it, unless you make it yourself. I mean, if you make it yourself, you're gonna be, you're gonna be having the time of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can store it over here. It's super cheap. For any foreigner, it's quite cheap. Can you tell me about the Battle of the Battles? Okay. So apparently he can't tell me about the Battle of the Battles. Whatever, let's go attack those looters. About Kozonak, uh, traditional Romanian Christmas food. Uh, it's just... Yeah, it's, it's sweet bread filled with a... Uh, chestnut. No, is it chestnut? Not chestnut. Uh, walnut, yes. It's, it's, it's sweet bread filled with walnut paste. Sweet walnut paste. It's paste-ish. Well, it's crumbs, but you also mix that with a little bit of uh, cocoa. Uh, no. To make it a paste. No? No, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, just a question, guys. Can you hear my wife? From all the way over there? Just saying. Because if you can't, I need to literally repeat what she's saying. No problem, dude. A little quiet, but you can. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Turkish Delight. We So practically we have three types, no, four types of uh, Kozonak. Uh, with uh, walnut. With uh, chocolate. With Turkish Delight. Okay, it's cocoa.
right. No, nah, no, nah, it's not. And what was the last first? Oh yeah, with gem. Although I'd never eaten with gem. I don't think so. With what? Poppy seeds. poppy seeds. Oh, with poppy seeds. Yes. Because they're not with poppy seeds. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, everyone charge. Let's see how they act. Okay, so the dude is actually acting like a horse archer. That's good. A little bit too close for comfort, though. But still. Ouch. That's good. Ow. Just a little bit more. I missed. What's the best Romanian savory dish? Oh, dude. That's a difficult question. Yeah. I mean, if I were to choose to eat food from all around the world, it would be sushi from Japan and Romanian food, <laughs> to be honest. Now we really have some good shit. Good shit. My personal favorite would be uh, cheese pie. Langosh, you know, cheese pie. More, more Placinta Contranesca, though. Yeah. Okay, that was a good battle. Uh, 22 looters over there. Could... No, 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 we're too injured right now. Let's go to Maranatha. And plus, we need to sell the prisoners as well, so it should be fine. Tavern, ransom prisoners. She spies on like a piece or something. Um, Bread dough? Um, made to look like a pizza. You add cow cheese. Um, salted cow cheese is my favorite, but it's you can um you can either you can add whatever the fuck you want. Um, meat. Um, cheese, shrooms. There's there's meat pie as well. Okay, but let's just strictly talk about cheese pie. Um, so it could be cow cheese, goat cheese, um, any kind of cheese, to be honest. Um, you just add it on top and then you close it. You just take the sides and you close it like a, like a very, very flat dumpling. And then you deep fry it. You deep fry it in oil. Yeah. Yeah. You just stretch it, press it, keep it intact and inside. You deep fry it until it gets crispy on a side and then crispy on the other. And then there you go. You have yourself a good old fashion Romanian cheese pie. It's, to be honest, incredibly easy to make. Deep fried pie with goat cheese sounds wonderful. It's, it's tasty, dude. Now, it depends. If you want a weaker cheese, you would go with cow cheese. But if you want a cheese with a hefty bite, you will go with either goat or sheep. Sheep's cheese. We we call it uh, we call it brinza putrosa, huh. stinky cheese. Um, but in inside a pie, it's just. Mm. Should we name uh, the stream to introduction to Romanian cuisine with Rev and his wife? I mean, you guys asked about it. What what do you want me to do? What do you want from me? I mean, I gotta talk about this shit. ACC Romanian food sounds delicious. What the fuck? Oh, actually. Is that ACC? Actually? I think one of the things that I like about the Romanian food is the fact that it's identifiable. You know, you see the food and you know what it is. Uh, you you definitely know. Okay, it's, it's a cheese pie. It it's a, it's a goddamn pie with cheese inside. You know, it's, it's simple but tasty 
I guess I guess one of the main things about Romanian food is the the quality of the ingredients. There we go. There's an arena. Let's join the tournament. Food is food, indeed. Food it is, indeed. Food. I guess. Let's go join the tournament. Hamburger is shed. I enjoy a hamburger occasionally, here and there. It all depends what I'm in the mood for. Uh, the uh, delicacy is a D E L I C A C Y, not S Y. But okay. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're talking about hamburgers from McDonald's or stuff like that, then yes, those are horrible. Those are shit. Smack that all on the floor. Smack that. Yeah. Get. They're mediocre. Hamburgers ain't bad, but not good. Uh, they're mid. I feel like. Uh, listen, my favorite hamburger is um. Uh, mixed pork with beef. Meat, um, slice of cheese on top, uh, some um, some sour pickles, and a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, some uh, some mayo, sure could work. Some, but some tomatoes or some onions, and that's it. Your burger sass? Right, okay. Yeah, I know your burger sass. You make some pretty delicious burger sass. Do I like sarmale? Momaliga chorba de burta. Uh, yes, I do like sarmale. Sarmale are uh, stuffed cabbage rolls. Momaliga is polenta, if you ever heard of it. Or um, corn porridge. Let's go with that. Chorba de burta is literally a, a very chewy type of meat that's taken from uh, cow's belly, from the cow's belly, and you make a soup out of it. And chorba, so what's the difference between a chorba and a soup, a normal soup, is chorba will usually have sour cream into it. That's it. Does that sound something that we eat in Lithuania? You most likely have it. I think in the entire Eastern theater, uh, people do cook sarmale. Um, so sarmale are practically... It, it can also be vegan. You can make it just with mushrooms. Uh, but sarmale... Uh, chorba is soup in Romanian. No, Mastrovich, we also have supa, which is soup. Uh, the difference between uh, chorba and supa is chorba has sour cream in it, soup doesn't. That's all. That's the entire difference. I, I think it depends on the region. I'm gonna try to hide behind the brazier and then go for the attack. Smack that dude. Uh, okay, red team, but we managed to go. Ooh, Jesus, Lord Christ. Hardcore. Eating beef as a sin in India, especially for Hindus. Hey, each one with their own, man. Each one with their own. I mean, it's a sin in India, and eating pork is a sin in, uh, in Muslim, in Muslim countries, I think. Yeah. But hey, each one with their own. It's delicious, you ate it today? Okay. Have you lived in the States before? Your accent is interesting. No, I've never lived in the States. I've never set foot in a English-speaking country. Pork is a sin in Muslim, yep. Fuck nuggets. Damn! And we're disqualified. Um, chorba's more like gravy than soup. It's not as chunky. Moist. The sour cream is in there just to give it a, a certain taste. No, chowder is tokanitsa. I think. Or no, maybe you're correct. Maybe Chorba is chowder. Uh, I'm really good at blocking with a two-handed? Nah, I'm not. Practice. Since you're munching on beef even though you're technically Hindu. 
Bon Appetit Spectre. Eating pork is terrible for Muslims and Jews and Christians who follow the Old Testament. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, super American accent. It's simply because I watched a lot of cartoons, a lot of movie, a lot of media, played a lot of video games, and uh, I actually worked with a lot of Americans in when I was hired with one of the previous companies, so I just kind of adopted the accent. <laughs> oh, Tokonitsu stew. Yeah, so yeah. You live in Turkey, although you're Russian, and you can say that the people on the western side of Turkey don't give a fuck if eating pork is a sin or not. Okay, each one with their own, dude. Yes, most likely, and it all depends on tradition. All depends on tradition, or... Actually, it all depends on your choice. If you want to eat pork, eat pork. If you want to eat uh, beef, eat beef. If you don't want to eat them, that is also fine. It's all in the choice. I mean, hey, fuck, if you will get into trouble, legally speaking, um, then fuck it, don't do it. Don't risk yourself. Um, but if it's okay, why not give it a try? Oh my god, that is a big boy. Look at that big boy. He's a big, he, that dude's been eating his papanash. That dude has been gobbling up those papanash like it was nobody's business. He came to Romania a little bit. He saw them papanash. He never left. He never left. He's done. We gotta stop the stream. We gotta stop the stream. Marius is going to the bathroom. Everybody stop. I see each one of them with their own taste, dude. Bon appetit. Fuck yeah. Maybe sure, but any of your feet holding you up? Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm, I'm not gonna stop either, Spectre. Can't stop, won't stop, whoa, whoa. Another arena to lose. Let's go, brothers and sisters. Hey, a Highland Chainmail. Oh, now, if I could get that, I would be so happy. I would be a happy boy. Well, Happy girl. Oh no. Oh no, that is a bad decision. Whoa! That dude just came out of nowhere. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm running away. Like a bitch. Oh my god, there's two red guys. Peace! Well... At least we went into the next round because we were the last man standing. Well, one of the last men standing. Women. Hello, uh, kill him not me. Welcome to the end. Welcome back to the end. Am I am I still loyal to Modern Blade? Yes, I am. It's one of the main games that I play in the stream. Skippy skip. Uh, 2v2s. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Okay, you shoot them. I will stay behind you. Ow, son of a... It's a Batanian peasant, man. Come on. Nice. You recently found out that your dad's family name carries a lot of weight in Kenya? Oh, okay. Where the helmet's at? I don't know where the helmet's at. Come on. Shoot him, my foxman. Oh, shit. That's a big boy. <sighs> no, please, please. Just, just don't kill me. Oh, God. <sighs> I gotta go for it. He's a highborn warrior. He's a killer on legs. Yes! Good. It's the final countdown. I mean, final battle. And now the Battalion Foxman will fuck me up. Look at him go. Oh no. Oh no. No, oh, son of a bitch! I knew it! I knew it! He crushed through. He crushed through my block. I knew that's gonna happen. Damn. Thank you and your wife for that fun discussion on food. Very interesting stuff, and I'll definitely see if I can get Papanash somewhere. 
Uh, yeah, just check locally if there's any Romanian themed restaurant. I'm sure they're gonna have Papanash on the dessert list. It's not a real Romanian themed restaurant if they don't have Papanash. <laughs> Probably wishful thinking. Fuck, we lost a lot of money. We have 25 gold to our name. I gotta practice. I literally gotta go in a arena and practice and get my face chopped off by a flying axe. Can I ask you a question? Do you blade? Oh, somebody has a very low pitched voice. Mm. Smack that. Oh, shit. Come on, man. 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 There. Give me a shield. Oh! I saw ya, bastard. I saw ya. How many questions have we axed? None. We like the we like to be blunt like that. There. Also, if you guys have any other whatever questions you have about me, sure, go for it. Never did make a QA. But people don't seem to be interested in QAs because, well, I usually just answer stuff you guys ask me on stream. What happens when Rev streams with his radio voice? It's just a normal stream. I guess. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape! There. Uh, hello? Uh, that's a throwing axis dude. I always pucker my butt when a two-handed axe hits me. Cause usually shields go boom. This is a nice covering shield. I like it. Let's keep moving. Oh, but I'm thirsty and I want to grab a, a, a drink. A gulp out of my grape juice. I must resist. Because I am positive. If I lower this shield, I'm going to be shot in the back. I'm just going to stay in here. Yes, I am safe here. I am definitely safe here. This is going to be my home now. Okay, a fight going on there. Four more enemies. One on that side, two on that side. Where's the third? Oh, there's the third one. Fourth one, my bad. Good, the archers are fighting each other. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, that dude has turned his attention towards me. Da -da 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 -da. Left, right, left, right, and I, it's time for me to start moving forward because definitely the one who kills the other will start focusing me afterwards. Well, Jesus Christ, that is a big sword. Damn. Where the hell did he pull that out of from? Gotcha. Good. Good. Yes, we need 250. Okay, I'll need another one of those to keep on going. Uh, this time we have a spear and we're surrounded. Oof. I guess I should go with the spear next. Okay, that then, dude. Any damage? Oh lord. Yeah, yeah, you guys fight each other. The nearest... Hmm? I will play, thanks. Ah, son of a... Uh, the nearest remaining restaurant for me is an hour away. You may try to make the papanash at home yourself, but it will probably be a disaster. Uh, do you know how to make donuts? Uh, did they add mascarpone in, uh, in the papanash doll? Cow cheese? Oh, so it's just cow cheese. So just grab yourself some cow cheese, uh, some donut dough, mix it up, and deep fry it 
and then just add sour cream and jam on top of it and you're good to go man or yeah you'd better just search for a recipe that that can also work oh no my backside okay. not with filling okay so I think you're misunderstanding Boist, um, there's not f necessarily feeling as in, you know, a, holy crap, I'm, I'm getting sandwiched between two axe throwers. Get yourself off of me. Get your hands off of me, boy. There you go. Uh-oh. Catch. Oh my god, did I just overshot that? Oh no, lame. Hmm? No, no, no. The jam and the sour cream is on top. No filling. Ah, oh, poop. Oh boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh god. Oh no, betrayed. <laughs> Must have eat you cheeky dick. Okay, two can play this game. Get fucked. Oh, oh, okay. Yes! Run away from me! You know what's good for you? Yes! Run away from me! Oh boy, that's a... Uh... Let's seek shelter. Before more people spawn and... Kill me. Okay, the two-handed weapon is not really my choice of weapon right now, but it'll have to do. Cheeky stab! Ha ha! Sucker! Oh shit, that almost hit me. Thanks for your tips, Rev. Uh, gotta go. Hope you and everyone have a great day or night. Thanks, boys. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you for the questions, and I love you a wonderful evening as well. Will archers on POP and defense have infinite ammo? Yes. If the location has a blacksmith. Or was that Perizno? That might have been Perizno. Why the hell did I just go out of my safe spot? Because I want to murder. There. Oh! Lucky me. Oh shit. I am the dodge. Oh shit. There's another one. Oh god. Yes, die you bastards. I am helping. I helped. Run, 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 run. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh god, why are they all shooting at me? I have done nothing wrong. Fuck yeah, I am neoing the fuck out of this. Oh. Ah, oh, gotcha, fucker. Whoa, oh, hello. Okay. Matrix ain't got shit on me. I'll read what you're saying in a second. Ooh, that dude knows how to shoot. Does he have a shield on his back? What? Since when did archers spawn with shields on their back in the arena? Damn, that dude must be good. You're stuck in Whitesnack Castle and your old warrior started on the back of the empire. How to convince them to peace? You beat the shit out of them. To be perfectly honest with you, you beat the living hell out of them. Until they want peace with you. That's pretty much it. Hey, one. Woo! Nice. Okay, that 500 should keep me going until, the in the, until I reach the Vlandian territories. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> Ah, that moment when you choke on your own saliva. 
<clears throat> well, that's embarrassing. There. You have 31 relations with your wall of your faction, the Noldor. Ah, oh, okay. <coughs> so, they would just be beat the hell out of Sarleon and Bacchus until they want peace with you. That's all. Also, of course, you can also send your uh, highest persuasion companion to broker for peace. That's also an option. Okay, that should keep us going until we reach Vlandian territories. Also, we have an alcohol arm 25. What do we got here? Pikeman. Nope. Cavalry. Increases your damage with pull arms while mounted by 2%. Cavalry troops in your formation you're leading have damage increased by 2%. Or, increase your damage with pull arms by 2%. Do you have to be on foot? Do you have to be on your horse? Nobody knows. Infantry troops uh, gain a damage increase of 2%. Is it a damage increase with pole arms? Is it a damage increase overall for foot soldiers? Nobody knows. Because the game doesn't explain. But we're going to go with cavalry. Because we're a cavalryman, god damn it. Your maximum party size is 278, but their lords have more soldiers. As long as you have the quality, you can defeat their quantity. That's what I would say. I guess I'm going to keep on increasing bow here on out. And then I'm going to go... Or do I just go two points into charm? Because I'm a goddamn charming motherfucker. Insert sarcasm somewhere in there um, we can already reach oh no we can't reach a disciplinarian but it's fine they come back after two days again fuck them up again just beat them keep on beating them until they want peace uh, hey by the way what's the biggest streamer of mountain blade and warband i don't know insert big streamer here And I'm really not that big. Oh, Resonant. But I don't think he streams on Twitch. But I think Resonant is the biggest Mountain Blade player. Or content creator. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Give me some goddamn bowmanship. There. Let's so go to Karbansath. Hmm. Uh, with a military campaign of 3,000 soldiers. I mean, if you gotta kill, you gotta kill, they really. What you gonna do? Ah, oh, pardon? <sighs> okay. Let's wait here for some time. Remember the time Resident followed me on Twitch? Dude, I was honored. I was happy as fuck. Super happy. When he followed me on Twitch. Never saw him again afterwards, though. Never saw him again. Okay, 1v1s. I should, in theory, make these winnable. You like beating Pender in the maximum difficulty ever? Oh, okay, Therun, you go and do that, man. You go kick Pender in the butt. Fwah! 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 Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, actually, Therude, it might be a good idea to hire yourself a mercenary company. That is true. Get yourself some boys. Get yourself some reinforcements, of course, if you have the cash. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Oh, this ain't going nice. No, please. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Crap. Come on, you son of a bitch. Ooh. Oh, God, I won. Nice. Whew. Ah, oh, that worked. Somehow. I don't know. That was a greasy gamer moment? I have no idea what that means. 
Oh my good lord, that dude's running fast. He's dead. Okay, no, he's not dead. He is slapping shit. Yes, you slapped their shit, dude. You even have the f face of the meme to slap their shit. That is awesome. Hey, Salty Nacho, thank you. But yeah, if you have campaign AI on max, you're probably going to be grinding. Uh-oh. No, son of a... No! <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, I was so lucky that he missed me. Oh lord. Ah, oh, the Batanian tournaments are stressful. Oh, I got so stupidly lucky. Uh, they get defeated literally within five minutes of spawning. Oh, you're a mercenary company. You could just tell them to garrison your castle so you can get out there and start nailing fools. That could work. Uh, 23rd? Nope. My medic, congratulations, you now have a ugly looking helmet. And you're back. Trade. Give back the helmet. Leave this place and go towards. I guess we're going to go to Royal Vault. Or do we fight against the. Oh, no, no, never mind. They're all the way over there in the boonies. I thought they were right here on the hill. 11 looters, that's better. Mine. Hello, 11 looters. It is time. Hey, man, what I mean? Follow me, boys. We're gonna go get ourselves a vantage point. Well, a pure shot towards the enemy is what I'm saying. Hmm? Do I have a favorite faction? Currently, Empire? Because they're very, very well rounded. Oh my good god. I hope you died. I hope you died. What the fuck? Just what the fuck? I hope my doctor died from that. He literally walked in front of me and killed himself. Oh yeah, definitely a headshot. Was indeed. I'm just gonna fill them full of holes. Please don't get in the way. That was hilarious. First time you watch this game, and the first thing that happens is a headshot of an own guy. Oh, killer rabbit, my boy. The shenanigans that occur in this game are stupid. What can 450 do with the 3,000 soldiers? Uh, divide and conquer them? Bake them into a roaming army? He did. He did have a bow. So again, I don't... You know what? Screw it. Yeah, he had a bow. He could have helped me defeat these guys. But he took the easy way out. Jesus Christ, man. Careful. I almost shot you too. So nine arrows left. Careful. Also, it seems we've been outranging the rocks a bit. Also, I'm getting very accurate with the with the bow. And exactly as I say that, I miss like a scrub. And I miss like a scrub again, and most likely this is gonna be a miss too. Oh never mind. Okay, we're back. Boop, boop. Ah, and there goes my last arrow. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm jigsing it. Was that dude running away? Hell nah. Nah, uh Nah, 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 nah. You fuck with the bull, you get the horns. One horn. For the horn god. Yeah, fuck your rocks. And we done. Did everybody die? I think everybody died. Good. And... Okay, 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 okay. The doctor didn't die. Whew. 
you should lower the difficulty. You're struggling currently on Pandora. You have no idea. Well, practically, the enemy is not going to spawn again with a with 200 soldiers if you just lower the campaign AI difficulty. That's got to hit. Do we get anything good? Oh man, the goddamn chainmail, man. There was some good chainmail in that tournament and we lost it. We lost it. What can 450 of you do with 3,000 soldiers during siege? Ah, uh, you could you could propel that. If you have a good choke point, you can actually win that siege. Theron. You can also lose terribly, that's true. But you can also win the fuck out of it. Hey. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. The question, at least if you don't have your powerful custom order yet, is to avoid battle. Oh yes, Theron, you can also just lose. Just abandon the thief. Abandon the thief, run away and fight another day. And you'll reconquer White Stag at a later date, when once you're more powerful. That is an option. That is definitely an option that you can take. Fuck no. And now I'm going to fight those six looters. Fuck yes. Ooh, bad, bad terrain. Knee shot, baby. Good. Ah, oh, nice. I actually hit. And I missed that one. I choked with the pressure. I'm walking right into rocks, right? Okay, no. I'm not walking right into rocks. Not yet. Careful, mate. Do you want an... I want to say arrow in the face, but I guess a rock in the butt can also work. Um... If you're lucky when you reconquer it, your, your king will give it to someone else, justice. I think Therun has his own faction. What did you miss? Well, you missed me shooting one of my my doctor in the head. Fun times. Oofy the oof oof. Oofy the oof oof again. Is this the beginning of the game? Yes, it is the beginning of the game. We're quite in the early game where we're just fighting some looters, trying to gather up equipment, trying to gather up men, and trying to win tournaments. Money to create em enterprises and, uh, well, sorry, workshops in this game. And uh, car to hire caravans. God, that dude's going to scare me. He's going to run right in front of my arrows. And I'm going to shoot him. And I'm not going to feel sorry for it. You hear me, mate? I will kill you. There we go. Done. Let's go. Uh, the one thing that I actually don't like in this game is the fact that you can uh, you automatically become someone in the game. You automatically create your own flag from the beginning of the game. In Warband, you could be a nobody for a long, long time. You know, a, a noble would look at you and they'd be like... You're not one of us. You don't even have a fucking flag. I'd be like, damn straight, I don't have a fucking flag. I don't need a fucking flag to, sh to kick your ass. And that was cool. That was something that yelled to me, you are the little man, the nobody that becomes somebody. When I get to create my own flag, I felt rewarded. I felt like, yes, I put in all this work to reach this point where now I'm recognized by nobles and shit. Um, no, in, in this game, you automatically create the flag from the beginning of the game. It's it's a little bit disappointing, I would say. It's just something that I don't like. Uh, you literally have more than 230 rangers and 85 legionaries and more hero adventurers. The next idea of yours is to obtain a quality and create a custom knight order. Uh, Therion, with 230 rangers and 85 legionaries, I think you can hold a castle 
just don't tell just don't give any orders to your soldiers and they will position them, themselves accordingly to defend to the best of their abilities so um yeah i think you can defend the white stack with that amount of soldiers my opinion did i just level up nope but i do have 55 bow now so what is this your attacks with bows ignore 10 percent of the enemy's armor bow equipped troops in your formation ignore five percent of the enemy's armor eh. decreases your reload movement penalty by 50 percent uh Bow equipped troops in your formation gain 5% uh, to their foot movement speed. This is only useful on foot, so definitely going to be getting Botkin here. And I think even if I was on foot, I would still probably get Botkin. Okay, quest for the quest god. Let's trade. And see. Well... We definitely know what they have here. Um, let's see if they have any recruits. Yeah, I'm going to start getting some Blandian boys. Finally getting my hands on some Blandian boys. Let's join this tournament and see what they got for us. Another fucking helmet. God damn. Just give me the good shit, man. Give me the good stuff. We're on foot and we're sword and board. I think we're going to lose. Because that dude's running in like an idiot. Man. No. Okay, yeah. Done. Lost. Tournament. Bye. Just remembered, where are the top seven warband mods that you've played and would suggest? Why top seven? Do you like to go a step beyond? Um, seven good warband mods in no particular order. Uh, Prophecy of Pendor. Perizno. A World of Ice and Fire. Nova Ethos, Viking Conquest, Gekakujo, Bones of Rangvald, Floris, Vanilla. That's it. From the top of my head. Also, I've created guides for most of them, the ones that I've mentioned. Also, for Lord of the Rings fans, last, of the, last Days of the Third Age. Also, for those who are interested in Asian culture, 108 heroes. I think that's it. That's, those are all that come to mind. I think there were at least seven. Done. Move away. Up. Oh, is there anybody interesting inside the tavern? The Sharky. No, I'm not interested in the Sharky. Let's go to Alanta. Grab some more soldiers from there. And let's have a quick look-see at the Vlandian troop tree. Vlandian troop tree. Build them. There we go. You have all of the mods except the Goku Kujo. Okay. Viking Conquest was best, in my honest, in my opinion, uh, due to the amount of overhaul it brings to the gameplay. Yes, yes, it's very different and it's more brutal. Really like it. So uh, we got crossbowmen, we got footmen, and that can go into sergeants. I can go, I can work with some sergeants, to be honest. So we're gonna try to get ourselves some sergeants and get a front line going. Recruit troops, all of those. Ooh, there's a lot of sea raiders around. Do I cheekily go for it? I'm not gonna fight those four sea raiders. Okay, that dude's wanna wanna attack me. Is he catching up to me? I think he can catch me. Okay, now let's go. You four sea raiders, fight me. Fuck yeah. Attack and set the boys somewhere. Oh my god, all of you are infantrymen. Ooh, interesting. The recruits come equipped with spears and sights. Nice. Uh, all of them are on foot. Let's go in close. Shields up. 
throw your shit at me, brothers. Good. Throw that shit. Good job. Yes, let it all out. Come on, all over my face and lower back. Yeah, that's good. Mmm. Ow, son of a bitch. I was joking. How do you share your progress on Discord and can you do it? Well, I'm dead. Help! 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 I am help. Fuck. Boys, if you're behind me, now would be the greatest of times to save me. Oh, good lord, I'm saved! You let my boys go. Oh, god. Oh, he got so lucky. How do you share your progress? I don't know, Therun. Show your party. Do a screenshot of your party. Do a screenshot of your world map and paste it in the Bandalord section. Or in the general text section. I don't know. Sites are cool? Yeah, they're cool. A little bit slow, but cool. Uh, part of the plan is to lure them into your teammates all along. Fucking calculated, brother. Calculated, but no, that's... That's, uh... Was luck. Uh, there's a chance for the horse to die, to get lame, or to be just fine. We plundered some gold. We got some high-value prisoners. We got a splintered, broadleaf-shaped spear... And a scarf and some leather shoes and some dates. Do I got a lucky horseshoe in my pocket? It was all calculated, mate. All calculated. Plus, I told my soldiers to charge as soon as my ho my horse fell down. Uh, so, thrust speed is better, but the length is shittier and the damage is shittier, so I'm not going to be getting that. Uh, horse is still alive and kicking. Good. You're going to be getting the scarf. Hello. Yeah, definitely the scarf. Crippling of horse? No crippling of horse. As I said. No horses have been crippled in the making of this playthrough. Uh, definitely footman. And let's go to a stick on. I paid 60. Okay. There's five sea raiders over there. One dude injured. We are slower. Let's solve those prisoners. 61. 10 roguery, and we did level up great. More bow for the bow god. And one more point to bow, and then afterwards we're going to be putting points into pole arms or into charm or leadership. Uh, Vlandian infantry. Yes, Mostrovich, because I need a shield wall first. Once I have at least, I don't know, 10 shields. Um, then I'm probably going to be going for some crossbowmen. The crossbowmen cannot kill the enemy fast enough. The enemy will get into melee and most likely dominate the crossbowmen. Thus, I need some Vlandian infantry. Or, we say fuck it, and just try out how useful are the Vlandian vanguard. And I think I'm going to be doing just that. I'm going to go and check out the Vlandian vanguard. So yeah, it's going to be footmen into infantry, into light cavalry, into vanguard. And we'll see if we can keep them alive. That's going to be a challenge, though. Sell those weapons. Sell that stuff. Keep the horses. Probably buy some more horses if we can, but damn, they're expensive here. We'll see. But yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. If you like what I do, hit that follow button. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. Really, really helps out. Um, if you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And that's it. I wish you boys and girls a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Actually, tomorrow, when we're going to be continuing with Bandlord 1.5.1. With our pure Vlandian playthrough. So, have a good one, boys.